Here's a quick tutorial on how to get this started. Um, I'm just going to show you a basic single stitch um, right after we do a slip stitch to get this started. So you'll take your yarn and you'll lay it out and then just wrap this around and cross it over. Okay, so we're going to make a slip stitch that goes around our hook. So you've got this, it's going underneath this piece of yarn, the main yarn you're going to use. You take these two pieces and you tie them in a knot. Okay, that lets this slip up to your hook. Okay, so now we have our hook ready. The hardest part is figuring out how to hold your yarn and so basically what I do is just kind of feed it up, just kind of lay it across your hand and then come underneath there. So you have a way to kind of keep your yarn tight. Put it through my pinky, it just gives me some extra control where I can hold on to it. Um, so probably that's probably the most difficult part of crocheting is figuring out how to hold your yarn. And then you're going to take your thumb and your middle finger and you're going to hold the stitch that you're working on. So you're always going to be moving these two fingers on where you're holding it. Um, so you just kind of got to get used to how to hold it and make you feel comfortable. The rest of the work is done with the yarn and you can use this finger to maybe pull the stitch over the hook or kind of help you pull it the right direction to get the yarn through. Um, okay, so we're going to start with 10 stitches. So we just take the yarn and then we pull it through. If you find that difficult, you can go in, in front of the yarn and twist your hook. That kind of makes it easier to pull it through. Okay, so I'll just show you that way. So that's one stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you have ten stitches. Okay, now what we're going to do, we've created our bottom row. We're going to basically turn our project and work back and forth all the way through until we have our scarf the length we want it. So when we're ready to turn, we've got our ten stitches on here. We're going to chain one. Okay, so that's the chain we just did. And then we're going to put a stitch in each of these. So there should be 10 when we're done. Okay, so there's one we did. We're going to go in the top stitch and pull the yarn through. And you can twist your hook down so it comes through easy. Okay, then you have two loops on your hook here. Okay, so you're going to take your yarn and go through. So that's one. Okay, we're going to find our next stitch. See, here's the stitch we just did. It's got the yarn going underneath it. You find the next stitch and you go through and pull it through. Then you have two loops on your chain here or on your hook and then pull it through. So that's two. Okay, and we find our next stitch. That's three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine. The last one's kind of tricky, but make sure you have ten every time you go across, okay? And now what we've got are our ten stitches, and they look a little different on this round. This makes it easier because what we're going to do. Okay, remember we're on our last one, so we're going to chain one 
and then we're going to turn our project. So we're going to go underneath both of these pieces for our next one. So, so now we're going to go through there. We've got the two that we're going underneath. We grab our yarn and pull up and pull through. Whoops. See, I messed up. I pulled it through both. So I'll have to do is just pull it out, put my hook back in. If you mess up, just pull it out and start over. Just want to make sure you're going through that hole underneath both of them. Last one's kind of tricky. Sometimes it's a little tighter than the others. Pull it up. Okay, now we've got our 10. We chain one and we turn. And you're going to do the whole scarf like this. Just keep going until you've got your scarf as long as you want it. Okay, so when you have your scarf as long as you want it, we're going to pretend I'm done with my project. Um, okay, I'm just going to cut the yarn. Okay, I'm going to feed it through the hook and it's as long as I want it. Now if I want to add fringe to the bottom, um, you can use that piece, as, that one is a piece of fringe and then you'll just kind of cross over your yarn. You can do this any way you figure out how to make it convenient for you, but this will work for now. Um. So, to make your fringe, you fold it in half and you just pull it through. again and I've got my fringe um, I'll do that again see fringe Phenomena. 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 Phenomena.